The stability of nature has enabled human civilization to thrive for thousands of years. Today, this stability can no longer be taken for granted, as climate change and its extreme natural phenomena are becoming more and more common. For a predictable future, mankind needs stability. All aspects of human life need to be reliable and sustainable, including our energy supply. Geothermal energy is the only reliable renewable energy source today, and it can be harvested by mankind for thousands of years. This thermal energy is basically heat generated and stored in rocks and fluids beneath the Earth's crust. It is present from near the surface down to several miles below, and even farther down to the extremely hot molten rock called magma. It is a boundless source of energy generated from radioactive decay and continuous loss of heat from the planet's formation. There are multiple ways to use geothermal energy, and the rapid development of technology enables us to utilize geothermal energy in increasingly efficient ways. Ground source heat pumps transfer heat from the ground into buildings. This system accesses the heat store located in the shallowest zone of the Earth's crust, usually not more than 30 meters deep. It uses a ground heat exchange loop to provide buildings with some basic heating or cooling. Geothermal district heating systems require wells that are a lot deeper. These systems target hot aquifers, which are essentially underground reservoirs of hot brine. The deeper they drill, the hotter the brine gets. The brine is brought to the surface, where it is used to heat commercial and industrial buildings. The cooled brine is injected back into the well and heated brine is brought back up. This process creates the loop of the geothermal system. The oldest technology of using geothermal energy are hot water spas. However, these require rare natural hot water springs where water finds its way to the surface along fault lines. These fault lines form natural pathways, called fractures, that allow water to emerge to the surface from deep below. Geothermal energy can also be used to generate electricity. Deep geothermal systems bring brine to the surface, where a surface power plant can then utilize this heat to generate electricity, then feed the cooled brine back into the system, creating a loop. These methods all require natural geothermal fluid, however, which is not available everywhere. And this brings us to petrothermal systems, which can operate without using brine. This is a brand new field of geothermal research and development. These enhanced geothermal systems, or EGSs, use the hot, dry rocks as a heat source and design artificial system elements for harvesting the energy. EGSs were developed as a solution for harvesting heat from hot rocks without natural permeability. So EGSs implement deep created heat exchanger systems with the help of a variety of technologies. Some EGSs use already existing fractures. Increasing the permeability, hydraulic fracking or hydro shearing can make hot dry rock permeable. This process forces fluid to go through the secondary reservoir, collecting heat and carrying it to the surface to drive a power plant. There should be no doubt, petrothermal energy harvesting with modern technologies is the future way of geothermal energy production. All of the technologies we have covered so far need special conditions and large-scale implementation to be viable. And most notably, all of these geothermal technologies are based on convection. These large-scale technologies are an excellent choice for regional energy supply. Smaller-scale EGSs, however, can produce heat for local use in a really simple way. One of the newest solutions has been developed in the Pannonian Basin. A new technology was designed and installed in order to harvest heat from old and abandoned oil and gas wells without the extraction of formation water or brine. The technology called WeHeat has been developed in order to utilize geothermal energy of unused deep wells. To understand the motives driving WeHeat development, let us take a brief look at the world of deep drillings. The oil and gas industry were drilling millions and millions of deep boreholes to achieve their goal, extracting fossil fuels via these deep wells until the reservoir is depleted, whereupon the wells are plugged and abandoned. Plugging and abandoning, however, is an expensive and non-desirable task for companies. It is necessary, though, to prevent accidents and to restore the environment. Millions of deep drillings are currently waiting to be plugged. The first objective of our WeHeat 
was the secondary utilization of these already drilled and out of use wells. Petrothermal technology enables us to use these wells for heat recovery. Between 2017 and 2021, MS Energy Solutions LTD extensively explored the possibilities of geothermal energy production without water extraction. Our unique enhanced geothermal system was installed in the town of Kiskunhalas as the first deep closed cycle geothermal system in Hungary. And with such efficiency, it was the first in the world too. The design of WeHeat systems was induced by specific needs. Nevertheless, we have made the technology globally applicable. There is only one natural element in the system, the Earth's own heat. So let's see how it works. The engineered structure of the Wii heat system for the production of geothermal heat is at least 1,500 meters deep, but usually deeper. The well is 16 centimeters in diameter and it does not produce any fluid from the ground and it remains closed even during production. The Wii heat hardware consists of individually designed modules of deep borehole heat exchangers for each well. We use an artificially added special working fluid for the heat transport that collects the Earth's heat and brings it to the surface with minimal heat loss. The subsurface heat transfer takes place by conduction and convection. Water saturated zones are mostly characterized by convection. Convection is a faster way of heat transfer than conduction that happens in dry rocks. In a deep geothermal probe, the whole lithological column needs to be taken into account from the surface to the bottom zone of the well. The heat of the rocks passes through the deep well structure and reaches the surface via the DBHE, Deep Borehole Heat Exchanger, installed inside the well. The amount of heat that can be generated is primarily related to the geothermal gradient of the petrophysical properties of the rocks. This can be predicted by modeling the environment. Thanks to Wii heat and similar technologies, plugging and abandonment of unused oil and gas wells can be replaced by giving a new function to these wells for decades to come enabling a profitable new type of deep energy production and avoiding the significant costs of well termination and landscaping. Due to the closed loop system, gas production known from other deep geothermal systems does not occur here with the extraction of thermal water. No harmful combustion byproducts are produced or extracted. No extracted or generated byproducts have to be disposed of, which is why simpler machinery solutions are used. Simple solutions are the features of convenient and user-friendly systems. Running expenses and maintenance costs are also negligible. The operation of closed-loop systems does not harm the environment. It involves no ONG production, hence it does not affect groundwater. Thermal water reserves are finite and underground water flows are sensitive. A wasteful extraction where there is no reinjection does not comply with the principles of sustainability of geothermal energy utilization. Closed-loop circulation produces less energy than traditional geothermal systems, but, on the other hand, it does not affect the vulnerable system of underground thermal waters either with regard to quality or quantity. Furthermore, if you can use an already drilled well, your heating project will be significantly cheaper too. For a sustainable life, we need a sustainable usage of energy too. That includes smarter use of available resources. If we replace the electricity used for heating and cooling with sources found in the Earth, we could use the surplus electricity for innovation and social causes, leading to a more modern, more sustainable and more just society. The future is not set. It is in our hands. What happens with the environment in the next centuries will be determined by how we play our cards in the coming decades.